a state-of-the-art medical imaging research centre that focuses on mild traumatic brain injury and heart disease could make Gisborne a world-leading centre in MRI, Magnetic Resonance Imaging. Matai Medical Research Institute's Director of Research and University of Auckland Senior Lecturer, Dr Samantha Holdsworth, said yesterday. So I'm here today just because Matai is being announced today and I'm just really excited to be here because this has been an initiative we've been working on as a community for the past two years and um, it's really exciting for the region. We, we're going to be bringing jobs and healthcare benefits to Tarafati while also having a global significance through our research programs. The Matai Medical Research Institute, which is to be based at Gisborne Hospital, will receive $6 million from the Provincial Growth Fund and $1 million from the Eastland Community Trust. We have supported Matai Labs with a $1 million. Um, we're one, obviously, of a group of people that have found this technology absolutely essential for this region and excited about the potential of it. It is about well-being, it is about uh, growing jobs in the region and it's also about our community and as I've mentioned bringing people back who may not otherwise have had an opportunity. We talked to David Scott, Chairman of the District Health Board. We're absolutely delighted that we've been able to facilitate this research proposal so it becomes part of our campus and of course the flow on effect for us particularly our Māori community in the as you heard in the area of heart and concussion will be that they will be the future will be healthier for them as well. Senior official in Tairawhiti for the Provincial Growth Fund April Parata made the funding announcement for the Matai Medical Research Institute in lieu of Shane Jones Minister of Regional Economic Development whose plane was delayed by fog in Auckland. Advancements in internet connectivity mean that Gisborne's physical location holds few barriers to research and national and global project collaboration. People thought of Gisborne as isolated, but in terms of links with academic institutions and research centres of excellence around the country, the city was quite central, Dr Holdsworth told the Gisborne Herald. This is a move beyond primary industry, she said. We have many innovative people in Gisborne. With our network and local talent, we can grow and make a big difference.